Hi, my name's Michael Gilmore, and I'm the author of The Whiz Bang Chronicles. And um, many of you have been reading the, the story about how Whiz Bang and his squad have been battling across New Eden in part one uh, of the story, and it's been it's an exciting adventure. I hope you've been enjoying it as much as I've been uh, enjoying writing it. Uh, but now we're up to part two, which is titled Revelations, and there's a lot of things happening. If you remember at the end of part one, uh, after getting all the through the, the disasters that they had and all that sort of stuff, and, and Bosk and him are suddenly talking to each other, and they go, oh, hang on a second here, and they both vanished, and they came back to our world. Now, this is a bit of a spoiler, obviously, so I do apologize for that, but um, now it's in Revelations part two, what's actually happening? What is going on? Uh, with this whole sort of adventure and everything. Um, a few things is that uh, in, in Revelations, the first thing you'll discover is, yes, they are back in our world, and uh, there's a whole big discussion with them and their families of what are they going to do with the fact that Whizbang and also Boss, for that matter, both have actual injuries from playing the game Firefall which is a bit of a twist. Uh, a couple other things you'll discover along the way is how Red 5 is actually incorporated into the story, and there's a, a huge, uh, massive picture all around that. I must admit, there are some sections, um, when, uh, they actually do get back to New Eden, believe it or not, um, where there's a huge battle, like a really, really big battle with multiple parts to it. Lots of different uh, of the characters are coming in and uh, taking incredible risks. Um, you'll discover a, a lot more about the relationship in, uh, between uh, Bosk and his son and Whizbang and Pyro or, or Whizbang's son and the importance of that relationship uh, to them. And uh, it really, it, I must admit, there's a few times when I was writing those sequences that I got a little bit emotional myself of imagining what would it be like to have my son in harm's way. Uh, for all the servicemen men and women out there who do that on behalf of us, uh, look, can I just say th thank you from the bottom of my heart. Um, but anyway, there's a, a lot is changing in the world and uh, one of the things I plan on doing for the, for uh, in this section on the revelations is is blowing open the whole world of fire, Firefall so that it's not constrained. At the moment it seems very constrained and uh, I'm going to be blowing it completely open, so um, watch out for that. There's a, a section I've just ri written this afternoon, in fact, as I sing down, and uh, it will, you you'll read it and you'll go, what the heck was that? What just happened? And it's suddenly going to change everything you've ever thought about Firefall. Anyway, um, I, a few other things that I, I'd like to highlight to you is one is tell your friends about the Whizbang Chronicles. Let them know. Some people have said, why have you made it so that it's uh, now you're going to register in Firefall Tribes? I thought, well, you know what? I want to be able to get ba out back to the readers and that sort of stuff. And the only way I can is if I know about you. And up until now, I've just let anyone get access to the, to the um, episodes. Um, that's the first thing. The second thing is um, I do provide a newsletter which keeps people up to date what's going on in Firefall Tribes and also um, what's happening with um, the Whizbang Chronicles as well. But I'm trying to give you some insight into what it's like to write something like this. Um, a few times I've gone into the game and I've actually typed in zone chat, Whizbang's here, he's scouting a new location. One of the great things I find out about Firefall is that I can go into the game, look around a location where a battle may take place, and I can think, okay, there's a rock over there, there's some trees over here, there's a house down there, and I can begin to put it all together in words then on how does this battle take place. Well, there's a battle later on to the north of Copacabana and, uh, uh, with Sophie and Akron and Tiny and, uh, and a few of the others. And, like, what would it be like to actually lay a trap or lay an ambush for the Chosen so the Chosen patrols walking through and then suddenly you just take them out? And so uh, I began to think about that and sort of all those stones just to the north of, you know, big huge boulders and everything like that. What was that like? Um, if you've heard some noises here, I'm taking the, doing this filming outside, so uh, welcome to Australia. <laughs> but anyway, uh, so there's a few, a lot of things are, are happening in the story, a lot of things happening in Revelations. Um, I, one of the things I'll be doing is that when I get to the end of the story, I think I'm about 40 odd thousand words so far, but when I get to the end of the story, 
um, and, and finish this first book one, you, you'll find that I actually go back through it, I'll be rewriting the whole thing as, uh, against the clean all up and that sort of stuff. And a lot of the feedback that you, the reader, has been providing to me has been so useful um, in helping do that. So I just want to say thank you very much for that. Uh, by the way, just to let you know, this is book one. There is, I think at the moment, I, I plan on doing a, probably about five books uh, in this series uh, with Wiz, the Wizbang Chronicles. And uh, I've got them mapped out, and it should be a, a bit of a, uh, an incredible ride. And there's a lot of things in there which you'll go, oh, my gosh, where did that come from? <laughs> Those sort of moments. So anyway, um, to keep the feedback coming, I love your likes. Uh, and Red 5, you're doing a great job, despite maybe some of the naysayers and that sort of stuff in the forum. Stick at it. Keep going. Let's make this a profitable business venture for you. And let's make sure we're all behind you and sticking at it. So, um, uh, by the way, I should mention one thing. That Tony, Matt, and Frank uh, from Red 5 will be featuring in an upcoming episode. So look out for it. Anyway, it's great talking to you all. See you later then. Bye.